I taught him to turn the other cheek. I taught him to ignore bullying. I had no idea that he would ever go through something like this. A 12 year old beaten and left with two black eyes after a violent attack on a JCPS school bus and the bus driver now taken off the road. This is Wave News at 11. I'm Noelle Friel. John has the night off. A bus driver is no longer driving students as JCPS investigates a fight that broke out between two camera middle school students Friday afternoon. Tonight, community organizations are rallying around the student's family who is now considering taking legal action against the school district. What started as a normal day at school turned into a nightmare on the bus for seventh grader Keani Davis last Friday. Yeah. For over a minute, this video, which is being shared on social media and was discovered by Keani's mother, shows another student repeatedly punching her son in the head. When I seen the video on Facebook, I didn't exactly know how anyone else would feel, but I knew how I felt. It was hard to watch. It was hard to watch. She later learned that what had started as a fight at school escalated into an attack on the bus, with her son being repeatedly hit while other students cheered on. She says the bus driver never intervened. 12-year-old Kiani was left with two black eyes. She's now evaluating whether to keep her son and three other children in JCPS. If they weren't walkers and if they and if they weren't across the street, I don't know if I'd be sending them to school. And at this time, I'm looking for other options because every day it's it's, it's healing, but it's not healing here yet. Happy After learning what happened to Kiani, two youth-based organizations, Hip Hop Into Learning and The Real Young Prodigies, threw him a party to celebrate his 13th birthday, which is coming up in a couple weeks, rallying around his family and calling for change. This is an issue that the district and the community can have a hand in, but ultimately is the responsibility of the parents to tell their child or student the consequences of violence and bullying. For Kiani and his mom, the outpouring of support they've received has been overwhelming as they figure out their next steps. Everybody's love and support for us is just amazing. It's overwhelming at times, but it feels great to have a community that'll stand by you. The school has my, our children almost as much time as we do, if not more with some parents because a lot of the, their awake time is spent away from us between work and school. They're supposed to be safe. JCPS tells us the students involved in the fight are being disciplined in accordance with the Student Support and Behavior Intervention Handbook. We also asked JCPS about their policy when it comes to fights on the bus. We were given a statement that reads in part, quote, if a fight begins on a bus, drivers are required to project their voices and tell them to stop. Drivers must make an effort to get the fight to stop and cannot ignore the situation. Drivers are required to pull over in a safe location and contact the compound to report the fight and the compound will call the police police if needed. Drivers are not required to get in the middle of the fight. They have the right to protect themselves by stepping back, never forward.